What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. And the new Kirito banner and the new ranking event are live, so we're gonna go ahead and do some summons. Uh, I obviously don't sound super enthusiastic because, uh, you know, there's always that anxiety when you come into one of these banners with seven multis and uh, to do all seven steps. And there is always the possibility you do all seven and you walk away with nothing. So, uh, you know, always got that lovely feeling. I did, I was just a bit short of having the seven steps, so I did do the first few stages. Uh, first few story portions of the new event just to make sure I had enough to do seven steps if I had to. Because, uh, I definitely do want this Kirito. And what's nice about this Kirito is... That he is a, um, he's not a limited unit, so we should see his, yep, we have his Imaginarium right there. Uh, so if I do pull him, I will be grabbing both of his Imaginariums from that. I definitely have enough to do that. Um, and here he is. Um, I'm not sure if they did new artwork or if they just pulled it straight from the anime. It's really hard to tell at first glance. I would literally have to go back and watch the episode to be able to, uh, tell for sure. Um, but I do love how it looks. It looks very, very nice. It's definitely going to make for a very good background for the game, and it's definitely very high quality. So before we talk about the unit or anything, let's see how the animation looks. I skipped the animation, so I wouldn't be spoiled on it. We can watch it today, together. So let's see if they went crazy or if it's kind of mediocre for a unit. Also, one thing I want to mention, there were some comments here, and I saw a lot of stuff on Twitter they actually had to fix something with this Kirito unit. Uh, you'll notice you'll had a, you have another day to download today because he had his Elucidator in his right hand over here. So that I guess whoever made the base art for this Kirito uh, kind of screwed up there. So they actually had to quickly go and replace it uh, with his Night Sky Blade. So that was kind of fun. I didn't even notice when I first watched the video, like really. Um, but let's take a look. All right, what do you do? Come on. Blow me away. Okay. Oh. Okay, it's solid. I really don't have any complaints with that. Like, it's not, like, the best animation in the game, but it's solid enough to where I'm just like, okay, this is a worthy unit to summon for just for that animation alone. No complaints here whatsoever. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, I've already gone over this, so I'm going to be very quick with this. I, there is something else I also want to talk about real quick, which I'll go into more detail in my event video. Um, but I do want to mention it here because it's really, really cool. Um, so first things first, let's just go over his stats real quick in case you didn't see. 6,300 HP, uh, very high. Uh, I'm starting to notice a lot of these units having, you know, 6,000 plus now. You know, there's not a lot of units who have under uh, 6,000 now. There, there have been a few exceptions of units who aren't, like, offensive heavy. Um, but a lot of units are having over 6,000 now. So that's pretty much a... Uh, factor there. If you have a unit with over 6,000 HP and then whatever attack or magic attack, if it's over like 2,300, then they're a solid unit. Um, so that's pretty good there. Um, he's a charge enhanced mode unit. He lowers physical resistance with his charge. He raises attack of all allies with his assault. And then his enhanced mode uh, makes it so both of his skills also add a 20% crit for himself for two turns. So that's pretty good there. Um, and then his his true starburst dream, which we just saw, just lowers physical resistance as well. And then his imaginary, which I will be grabbing, assuming we pull him here, uh, decreases the required MP by 2.5%. So that'll be 5% with two copies of that. Other featured units are Administrator, I have you. Adus, I have you. I do not have this sin on. I think this is, this is the... Uh... Oh, wait, which sin on is this? I actually don't remember this one. This isn't... Oh, this is like a recollection field uh, one. So this isn't uh, active link, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, toward the front lines. Uh, oh, yeah. So this is the Sinon that came along with this Asuna here. So I don't have that Sinon. Have Asuna, have Tease, have Yu-Gi-Oh, have Liz. Okay. 
Uh, and the new cutoff point, just to say real quick down here, is it goes all the way up to the uh, Flower and Swordsman Awakens Leafa that we saw a little while ago uh, that I also didn't pull. Um, and then I guess we'll take a quick look at his weapon. I don't think... Well, obviously, I'm not going to... I don't summon for weapons, but I might... I have a lot of weapons lying around that I'm not going to use a lot of swords, so I may consider picking this up. So, uh, attack and crit, 12%. Attack, 5% using assault skill and required MP minus 10%. So, his weapon's going to be great just for him in general with dealing with, you know, being in enhanced mode all the time. So, without further ado... Oh, no, wait. I said there was one more thing I wanted to talk about that's really cool. So, there's actually two things I want to mention. First thing, ranking event is live, and... Boy. We actually fight a uh, Angel of Death, uh, Gabriel. So he actually has a model in the game. So there is a chance that at some point, I don't know if it would be the following banner to this. I doubt it would, uh, but you never know. Um, we will see this Gabriel as a unit himself eventually. I don't know if it'll start off as like a Gabriel and he can like transform into this, uh, like enhanced mode or something, or if this will just be like a base unit like this, but it's really, really cool looking. Uh, I did the first level 30 stage in the story portion, and uh, he looks really cool. The other thing I want to mention, there's going to be a, um, yeah, this video will come out tonight before the live stream. There's a live stream, 7 a.m. Eastern, Friday morning, which is in literally five at, less than five hours from now, as of recording this video. So they may reveal stuff about the 1.5 anniversary. I don't think they'll reveal banner stuff, but they might reveal, like, the campaign and stuff. The campaign will probably start at the end of April. Uh, so probably within the next two weeks, the campaign will start. It'll go for a few weeks until the uh, celebration actually begins. Um, they also might reveal what will come next week since, you know, it is a live stream and they sometimes tend to do that. So if there's like a banner that releases next Tuesday or Wednesday, they could totally reveal the actual unit here. So if they do reveal Gabriel tonight, it would not surprise me. Um, so if you want to hold off, you know, just hold off for five, six hours or just wait till you wake up in the morning to summon for this Kirito to see what they reveal, uh, it might be a good idea to do so. But this Kirito is amazing. I looked at my team. I don't actually really need him, but, uh, screw it. We're going to summon anyway. All right. I got all that talking out of the way. I'm sure you guys are probably tired of that. Now let's see how we can do summoning for this Kirito. Um, I would ideally by step five, I would love to have him in my box, but uh, I'm willing to go seven steps to pull this guy. He will. He has 50. Per, well, I don't want to get excited about that 50% chance because we saw where that got me with uh, seven. So uh, I guess we'll see what kind of happens. I'm going in with zero expectations that I'll pull him. I want to pull him, but. Um, <laughs> I will obviously be very disappointed if we do not pull him, but uh, I'm trying to keep my expectations low because uh, don't want to go through that again. Um, speaking of wind, I think the last wind banners were the luckiest I've gotten in a while. Uh, I mean, I got obviously very lucky. I only had to go seven steps for... Um, the limited uh, Sinon and Leafa. But in terms of, like, early step luck, when I summoned for Quinella and Adis, you know, I, I forget who I pulled on which step, but uh, I know I pulled one of them on, like, step two, and then I think I pulled the other one on step three. Or it might have been I pulled one on step one and the other one on step two. I actually forget. All right. We're on step two. Let's see what we got here. So when I said I don't really need this Kirito, I guess I can elaborate while we're going through these summons. I went over my win team before uh, summoning, or before starting this video, and I have so many charge units for win, but not as many break. Especially when it comes to newer units, a lot of my break units are from over a year ago. You know, like the debuff Tease the Integrity Knight Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, uh, and <laughs> obviously I do have the, I believe it's the Adis, Wind Adis, the one, the newest one, is an actual break unit, so that's three right there. But the issue with that is I need to get rid of a charge unit 
for this new Kirito. But the only other charge units I would be running on the team, really, are going to be other active link units. I'd be running the Quinella, and I'd be running the Kirito, but then I also have to... My best healer is still Day 1 Leafa, so um, I'm probably going to have to bench Quinella for this event. Because both this new Kirito and the uh, active link Aedas both link with Asuna, so I have to keep... Um, the front line, the, the one that's featured here, the Asuna on this banner, the recollection field one. I have to keep her on the team because she's going to active link with them. So, uh, we'll have to, uh, I'll have to kind of figure that out. So, yeah, uh, team wise, if this Kirito was just like a normal Kirito and he wasn't like, um,. Like, end of anime of Alicization, like Kirito, like, absolutely have to pull. Um, I probably would have skipped him because he's not. So I would have waited for next week because next week, I can guarantee you, is going to have a um, uh, break unit. Ooh, step four, it made the noise for a four star. There's gonna be, yep, there's a four star in here. Don't show me any faces. Okay. This could have Kirito, but it also could have just anyone. Come on. Alright, this is unit number six. Seven. Come on, Kirito. Eight. Is it going to be the last unit? Ah. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> okay. Got excited for nothing. We got <laughs> day one Leafa. I mean, at least had some more crystals, so that's good at least. I can't use her Imaginarium anymore, though. All right. Guaranteed four star on this step. I mean, whether I got him or not, you know, it's always nice to get a uh, four star on a non-guaranteed. Oh, that's him. We got him. I believe so, anyway. You know what, let's just go ahead and skip. I think that's him. Yep. Alright. Anxiety gone. Let play again, because why not? Alright, so that's good. Um, it would be actually be kind of funny if he wasn't the final unit. We got, like, a dupe for him here. But, uh, I'm not going to get my hopes up for that. Um, so very, very good. Only had to go to step five, so I really didn't need to buy those extra <laughs> diamonds. But, I mean, that's another 500 I can just, you know, plus the ones I'll get from the event. So I'll have, like, six, 700 uh, that I'll be able to sit on. Oh, no way. Oh, he was the third unit in the multi. I should have just let it keep going. Um, That's an amazing multi. We take... Okay, so... And I'm definitely still going to grab both of his Imaginariums. So, uh... That'll give me three, uh... Imaginariums for him. No complaints there. We have no reason to keep summoning. Um, I guess before we get on... I'll awaken him here so you guys can see how he actually looks. But I do want to see real quick. So... Orison Dual Blades. Yep, this is it. I just want to see if I have any exchange swords. Um, I don't, but look at all these swords down here. I think these four in this row you see right here, I'll probably get rid of. Yeah, I'd probably get rid of two blue rose swords because I don't need any more water blades. Uh, I don't need that light rapier. And then I think, well, actually that dark rapier I should hold on to because I don't have uh, many dark rapiers, but... Um, I really don't need another... I could always get rid of this. Because, I mean, I there's, I don't usually only end up using... I'll figure it out later, but, uh... I'll probably find a way. If not that, then I'll just, like, get some kind of, like... Extra sword from, like, these free summons we've been doing. Okay, uh, there was an error code, so we have to reload the game, apparently. Uh, I guess there was more issues. Hopefully it didn't take away my, uh... <laughs> Take away my Kiritos, because uh, that would be a pain. 
I wonder if there was like an issue with the event or something. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um. So yeah, before we get out of here, I'm just going to go ahead and awaken our boy Kirito here. Uh, he is going to take as much as I want to use her still. I'm not even using Yu-Gi-Oh on the team, so Queen Ella really doesn't have a reason to be on the team right now. Um, I think Queen Ella will not be benched anymore when we get an actual win to Yu-Gi-Oh. That's not... Now, here's the thing. Debuff Yu-Gi-Oh and Integrity Knight Yu-Gi-Oh, they're okay if you have full Imaginariums, but even then, they're still very dated. So, I still don't feel like they're super useful. So, we're definitely going to use this Kirito. Um, so, let's go ahead and awaken him real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am totally fine on Wind Crystals, that's for sure. Um, now, here's obviously the thing, you know... I could definitely use another break wind unit, but I don't think I'm going to summon again. I don't really see a reason to. Because, uh... I mean, if I can do... Now, here, the, this is actually the other thing. We have to see how this ranking event goes, which you'll see in my ranking event video, which I'll probably record tonight. Um... Let's see it. Yep, there we go. That looks awesome. Um, we have to see if it's going to be as BS as the last one, which was not fun whatsoever. Um, as I'm sure everyone will agree. Um, how many do I... Oh, I have 600. He's going to 120 immediately. Screw it. Alright, we're going to awaken him to 120. And I think I'll hold on to the rest in case I do give in and end up summoning, because you never know who, what comes out. I always say I'm not going to summon, but sometimes I do end up summoning. So, here's the kind of thing, is now i got to kind of consider what is my weakest element at this point. And I still think it's wind, but I also don't want to summon already, like, right now. I think it might be best to, like, wait for, like, the next rotation of wind to summon again. Because for all we know, they could... Uh, come out with a new mechanic or something by then. Even though I really could use a break unit for wind uh, to kind of add to the team, I could replace like, you know, the debuff Tease or like a UGO or something. Um, I do think it's best to just kind of hold off. But we'll see what they reveal on the live stream. Uh, I don't think I'll... I might be awake for it. Who knows? Um, whenever I'm awake and I find out everything that kind of went on during it, I will obviously have a video up. Uh, and you will, uh, see what's coming. But, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh my god, he looks so cool. Uh, also something I didn't notice, uh, until recently. If you actually go into their skills, because a lot of people have been, been like, Oh, hey, I just pulled this unit. Who's their active link partner? Um, if you actually go here, click on details on the first page, scroll down a bit. It shows you their special partner. So for Adis, it says Asuna right here. So I actually literally just found that out today which is kind of funny. Um, but that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know how your summons went if you did summon. Uh, hopefully everyone got lucky and was able to pull him. I'm going to go figure out what weapons I want to exchange for his new weapon, and uh, I will be hopping into the ranking very shortly. So that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.